Well, well. What have we got coming out of the van? I think it's a new donation. Ha <laughs> ha. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. Due to the fuel shortage, I've been unable to get any diesel in a can. So, um, yeah. But when we can, <laughs> when we can, pardon the pub, when we can get some diesel in a can, we'll put a, we'll put a fuel in on here, bleed her up on the injectors, wherever the injectors are, oh, they're under there. Look. And we'll give this thing a crank and see what it does. So yeah, let's just see if she'll crank over by hand. Right, I think. Oh, of course she's compressed. I think we had to twist this thing somehow. Oh, ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, she cranked. Oh, back at me. She's gonna take some starting. Yeah, she is going to take some starting. But yes, we're there. Right. <laughs> Hope you guys like the new man cave project. We will try and get this big old baby running at some point. And I'll try and find out more information on this. You guys can do your own research if you like. There used to be a plate on there, but that's gone. We have a plate on here, if you want to look at that you can pause it, but from what I can see that's all to do with pump timing for the diesel. So that ain't really telling us a lot. I think this engine's probably 1950s. There's some detail if you want to look up Enfield Twin Diesel. I think they call these the HO2 or something, but if you guys want to look it up and drop it in the comments, you can. Say she's air cooled, twin cylinder, and yeah, right. I'm gonna leave the video here. Oh my god, I'm meant to be getting smaller engines, and I end up with a thing like that. What an absolute beast! Right, see you later, guys. Bye bye for now.